So this is a question that crops up quite often on the internet. It's how to wire an AC motor, such as this. This here is a motor out of a washing machine. It's a 240 volt alternating current. It's 380 watt, which is half a horsepower, and is 50 hertz. You can generally recognize an AC motor. Uh, firstly, by the terminal block, there's anywhere from four to seven terminals on them, um, used for things like speed control, powering up, the coils themselves and producing electromagnetic fields to make a turn. First thing we notice after the terminal block is the coils that are inside. These are built into the stator, not the rotor itself, which you can see turning. Normally on a DC stator, you'll just you'll have permanent magnets on the top and bottom, and then you'll just send power to the brushes, which will make the motor spin. But in this case, you have to energize the coils themselves to produce a magnetic field. So the first step to actually get one of these motors going is to identify what the different terminals on the terminal block do. So when we look at the back of the terminal block we can see firstly two small wires and this seems to go to the very end of the motor. This here is a speed controller. It sends a frequency or a resistance, I'm not sure what, um, back into the motor controller or PWM board. Uh, we won't need that if we just want to get it going as fast as we can. The next two wires are blue and white in this case. They're often blue and white for brushes. You can trace these to the brushes that are either side at the back of the motor. We then have three wires. You might have two wires in your case. These will go to the coils that are in the stator. So after we've identified what each terminal does, we're going to strip back a power cord and crimp a spade onto the positive and negative. First terminal we're going to attach is we're going to send power, we're going to send our blue positive onto one of the brushes. We're now going to send our other lead, the negative, onto one of the field coils. It doesn't matter which one at the moment. We're then going to make up a small cable, a jumper cable, and we're going to bridge between the second brush and one of the remaining field coils. So after we have our terminals all on, and we've made sure that they're not touching, it's a good idea to use insulated crimp plugs to make sure that they can't touch each other. And we attach our earth. I'm going to use a vice grip here just to make sure that the cable is firmly attached. It's not going to short out. Um, I've also cable tied the cable itself onto the edge of the motor to make sure that when it starts vibrating it doesn't pull off and short out any of the terminals. We're now ready to plug this thing in and give it a spin. So that's how you wire an AC motor. Cheers. Bye-bye.